it's time for me to give everybody picks. Uh, I noticed on uh, Odds Jam, Al Alex from Odds Jam started a video. I, I assume it's a video series, and I like what he's doing, which is talking about the best picks of the day, and he came up with 10 picks. And the, uh, the folks at Odds Jam, I do really respect what they do. They dig around for the best lines on the best sites, and they, they try to find variances. And they definitely play a game of mathematics in, in determining where they make their wagers. But one thing that Odds Jam doesn't necessarily do, which I do, <laughs> which is I pick winners. I write algorithms that pick winners. And oftentimes you'll hear me talking about really large bets like round robin bets, which are huge bets with lots of different teams and possible outcomes and things that are actually really complex. And while that, that is fun to do sometimes and it certainly can result in really large payouts with small amounts of investment, I also have to say that if you're looking for fewer fluctuations in your bankroll and more reliable, steady returns as opposed to you know, one day you're going to make 25 to 1 and then you might go 7, 8, 10 days losing every day. If you, if you don't want to do it that way and you want to have something that's more reliable and making a steady percentage on average every day or every week, then you want to make straight bets. And what Alex on OddsGM did was he said he came up with 10 picks and I thought, I can do that. I, I will come up with 10 picks as well based on the algorithms that we have each day. And I will put those 10 picks up there and I will actually make those bets so that we can really track them and make sure that they were actual lines. And today, with all the kids running around the house still, because we are busy, I did manage the time to come up with 10 picks in the last few minutes. And I made them. So these are all wagers that I have made. And, um, and we have them calculated in units here. So what this is showing is what happens if all of these picks win is 142% of your bankroll invested is what you will realize as a profit or a gain. That means you will end up having wagered 10 units, a dollar, let's call it a dollar, on every one of these games, these 10, 10 picks right here. You'll have wagered $10 and you'll end up with $24.22 when you're done and that will have made you $14.22 or 142%. If you were to win all of these games. Now, if you don't win all of these games, this will change. Let's say, <laughs> let's say that Anaheim, the Anaheim Ducks do not score over three and a half goals today. Now, the reason why I'm going to bring that up and what is funny is I am very, very close to Anaheim right now. And I could go to this game. And on top of all of that, my former roommate and friend of many years is the goalie coach and will be on the bench for the Seattle Kraken tonight, helping, hopefully helping them win. I, I root for him as well. However, I made a wager that Anaheim is going to score at least three and a half goals because I'm a horrible friend. I mean, let's think about that. I'm really a horrible friend to do that, right? But he's a great guy and he is a good goalie coach. And, and I actually hope I lose that bet. And Seattle plays really well. Um... But I did make the wager on the other side of that, which was that the Ducks score over three and a half goals. And the only reason I did that is because the algorithm said in both scenarios that, that An Anaheim does get to four goals because they have been putting up some goals lately. They got Troy Terry, they've got some good players, and they are here at home, uh, here literally. So anyway, the point is, is, well, what happens if I am wrong and my roommate gets Grubauer to pitch, pitch a good game? This would be a loss. And what will change is all of a sudden your cumulative totals and your profit and everything that's related to all these picks will change. And you'll see that the best you can do if you lose this game is only making 12 or, you know, 121% on your wager. What if the Capitals lose? Because I'm a fan of the Caps. Now we're going down even further. What if this game isn't an over between Arizona and the Rangers? All those things. You can see how you can start to lose games. And also, what if you lose this big game? There's one really big line on here, which is Middle Tennessee, because they're a big underdog on the college basketball algorithm. Uh, I saw it and I thought, you know, Mississippi's hurting a little bit injury-wise right here. And even though they're an away team, there's a chance they could win this game. And that's a really, really good line. So I may as well make a straight bet on there for that possible scenario. If that doesn't happen, you can see we're going to start to go into really difficult territory, I believe, right? Because if you go five and five, you're not going to make any money, right? Actually, you still will, depending on the lines. How about that? Anyway, we're taking off. Adios. Hasta la semana.
Dos semanas. Dos semanas. I'll be eat. Okay. Papa. Uh, so, um, sorry. So, uh, anyway, the point is, is this is uh, a nice way of going over 10 picks. I'll do this as long as I, as long as I don't lose interest in doing this. Um, because I, I do, I, I want to show that there, that doing it this way, instead of doing massive parlays and round robins, that doing it this way is going to lead to much, much fewer uh, noticeable fluctuations in your bankroll. And it will also show steady wins because I, I know what the algorithms do because I've been working with them for years. And they, and they do win in, in this instances, in these instances, in this scenario. So these are the picks. I'll do the 10 picks every day. And I will beat the odds jam folks, and I'll beat everybody. And the reason why I will beat everyone is because the algorithms beat everyone. Um, I call them the best in the world because they are. <laughs> That's why I call them that. So, I mean, we beat the odds makers routinely, and we beat anybody else who tries to do this because we're taking into account all the information. We're using all the skills I have, which are quite unique to do this. So um, that is, anyway, what's going on. So we've got... Three NHL picks, four NBA picks, three college basketball picks. This is the first day we're doing this. Hopefully we go 10-0. and 0. I don't think we're going to go 10-0, and 0, but hopefully we win money today. And we show you that you can also make money um, not every day, but almost every week. And you can make money every month doing this. That's going to be the claim I'm going to make. If you have 30, 31 trials, you're, you're almost certainly going to make money in the long run. So that's how this works. All right, good luck, everyone. May all your picks be winning. May these 10, 10 picks be winning. And I don't know what to say about the Anaheim-Seattle game other than, <laughs> maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever, good luck.